had to pay an unexpected bill, um, which basically put us out of pocket for food for my wife, me, and the children. Well, I was getting low on money, but change of circumstances of the job, change of benefits, I just I was unable to, you know, to survive, you know. If there weren't really a food bank, I'd have to try even harder to get family to come to me. There are accounts which are just a snapshot of the thousands of people who, when in crisis, turn here to the food bank. Hannah Worsley is the project manager in Norwich, and she hears firsthand the stories of desperation that bring people here, from one diabetic woman who'd resorted to scraping out jam jars just to keep her blood sugar levels OK, to the many people struggling with delays to benefit and work payments. I had one lady who had to walk four or five miles to get to work because she couldn't afford the bus, couldn't afford to put petrol in her car. She also had to buy uniform for her work and you've still got food and rent and other bills to pay. So she was thinking, well, I don't know if I can keep this job. So although all we're providing is food, we're hopefully helping her and other people in those circumstances. And I think we're not new anymore. So a few years ago, people were still sort of saying, well, what is a food bank and why is there one in Norwich? Whereas now it is accepted. And I think that's almost a shame, really, that people say, oh, yeah, the food bank, we know about you. And actually the underlying reason is that people are going hungry in our city every day and that should never be acceptable. Figures from the Trussell Trust show that 9,020 emergency three-day parcels were given out in Norwich in 2016-17. That's about 300 more than the year before, and around a third of them went to children. It's a rise that's reflected across the country, and over in Yarmouth there have been reports of a huge increase in food bank use, to the extent that stock was having to be rationed. The reasons? Well, bosses point to low wages, insecure work and the rollout of universal credit, which has meant delayed payments. We've had people who've rung us up who've obviously taken quite a lot of courage to make that call and say, what do I do? And when I've been able to say, well, go here, go here, we can support you, don't worry, they've just broken down in tears, going, well, I can't believe I'm in this situation, I can't believe I've needed to call you. And several people come to the food bank having not eaten for a few days, hoping beyond hope that... Um, their situation will improve and they don't need to use us because there is still a stigma around coming to food bank and people sort of looking down on those that need to use us and saying oh well they must be on benefits or they must be out of work but actually it affects an awful lot of people. More than 110 tonnes of food's been donated in Norwich over the last year. Just a couple of weeks ago one man turned up with a car full of 250 Easter eggs for those who might not otherwise get one. But volunteers are pleading for support all year round with lots of people still just thinking about giving at Christmas. And they're also running extra schemes like lunch clubs for children in the school holidays. Norwich Food Bank says that in an ideal world, they wouldn't exist. But with the current demand, it's more important than ever that they do. Rob Setchell, Mustard TV, Norwich.